On the other end, he's scum. Oh, stop. You're gonna make me break down weeping. <laughs> stop it! Remember that thing I said about not working, not, What's you know, good? making it worth my while? Well, you weren't doing it, bud, so. The warrants are around here somewhere. Have you found them? Here you go, Derek. There's your warrants. Thanks. You're a lifesaver. Now, normally, justice is its own reward. But as these aren't normal circumstances, here's your gold piece. Right. To sort out this town. Four gold coins. We just need one more. And here it is. Shh. I think Mother heard us. You again? I don't want you sniffing around my daughter. Now push off. Before I call the guards, you animal! Get in the house, Belinda. And clean those floors. They're as filthy as that no-good delinquent Monty. Oh, you're a bitch, ain't ya? Hi, Monty. Tell me your problems. What's the matter with you? Oh, little ones. My situation is unbearable. Words can't even begin to describe it. Looks to me like you fancy the girl who lives there, but her mum thinks you're rubbish, so she's locked her away. Uh, I suppose that's the gist of it. Why'd you ask me then? Maybe we could help you. Yes! You could take my proposal letter to the fair maiden. Oh, there is hope. My heart soars in my chest like... like... We'll do it for a gold piece. Ah, oh, I'm a bit strapped right at the moment. But Belinda's good for it. I'm sure she'll pay oh, you wow. when she receives my letter. Real gentleman, huh? <laughs> Pushing the bill on your, on your date. Yep, yep. I'll do it for you, bud. After I read your letter. Darling, run away with me. Like two doubts, we shall rise on love's gentle breeze to soar above the world in our bliss, forever embracing in the clouds. Monty. You kids can do it. I know you can. Get that letter straight to Belinda. Don't let her mum get it. <laughs> this letter's awful. Listen to this. Darling. I just read it, Rose. Run away with me. Like two doves, we shall rise on love's gentle breeze to soar above the world in our bliss, forever embracing in the clouds. Yeah. What? Oh, don't hate on him. I said, oh. It's a bit over the top, isn't it? A bit. It? Open up, bitch. What do you want? Oh, um, we, we've got a letter. We need one gold for the postage. Oh, well, why didn't you just say so? Come on in. Wait there while I get the money. Oh, fuck off. And don't you touch anything. It's for your daughter, not for you. Well, this is wonderful. Here's something for your trouble. Oh, Monty. My little dove. I don't know. You put... I guess some people's wishes do come true. Oh, well, we got them done in here. We can buy the music box now. Let's head outside the house. Come on, let's go. Oh. What are you doing? Get back in the house. I'm leaving, Mother. I'm going to marry the man I love. What? From the balcony? Oh, Monty. 
Beauty. I love you. No, you don't! He's poor! Oh, Mother, you're such a shrew. That's why Father left oh. you, and you can't get another Oh, damn. Man. Belinda, you shouldn't... Hello, children! Hello. We've come to buy the music box. Mine? Very wise, little ones. Oh, shit. Go ahead and turn the handle, but mind you go somewhere quiet like. Let's go make our wish, little sparrow. You got it. Head back this way. Oh man, I can't wait to really like get in deep with this game. I wish. I wish. Go to bed. We're not gonna lean on the fact that, that thing I was fucking so disappeared. Sure this was it. I had this feeling like like we weren't gonna be stuck in old town anymore. Why didn't the box take us with it? What are you doing here? I'm sure I didn't wish for you. Alright, fine. Welcome to our little paradise. Come on, Sparrow, go to Do bed. I have a choice. I'm gonna take this first. Read your diary. The latest entry, written over the rough drawing of a castle, reads, I managed to find a new piece of charcoal. Oh, a nice piece of charcoal this morning, so I can finally start writing again. I still haven't finished putting down the story about the warrior girl who fights snow monsters. Sparrow always liked listening to that one, since I'm right to sleep. It's not so easy for me. Winter is getting colder, and soon, sh soon our shelter won't be anywhere near enough. We'll freeze to death if we don't find somewhere better. The family of travelers who let us stay in their caravan last winter haven't come back this year. It was nice having someone to look after us for a change. If only we could find some secret passage into a, into the castle. We're small enough that no one would notice us. We'd be like ghosts or little or like mice hiding in the walls. We tiptoe out when everyone goes to bed and ready to larder. I bet they have so much food in there they never even notice. Oh, they never even notice. Bah, daydreaming isn't going to get us anywhere. You have to think up something, Rose. You're the big sister, remember? Uh, that's depressing as shit right there. <laughs> oh, let's go to bed, even though the sun's still out. Oh, all right, uh, settle down. There's a nice, uh, angry, stray dog. Quiet, boy. What do you want? I work for Lord Lucian, miss, and he would very much like to see you in his castle. I've been sent to collect oh, you. Good of you. It did work. Our wish came true. Come on, little sparrow, wake up. Oh my God. <clears throat> I don't know why my nose is like kind of running right now. It's a bit annoying. It's all right, doggy. We're going to Lord Lucian's castle. I'll come back for you. I promise. Wait for me, Rose. Shit. Oh. I keep waiting for people to say more, they never do. Evening, Jeeves. Here are the children Lord Lucian asked for. Excellent. 
Hello, young master. Hello, sir. If you'd follow me, please. We look up at this oh, castle okay, every day me. and think how nice it is. We both do. But inside, it's even more beautiful than I imagined. It is quite wonderful, isn't it? A bit faster, ah, please. Hello, Master Garth. Ha! Huh. A man of few words. Where is the Grand Dining Hall? Oh, in the North Wing. Lord Lucian hasn't been in there since... since the tragic deaths of Lady Fairfax and Little Amelia. Oh, I heard. That was so awful. Yes, he uh, misses them terribly. So, where does he eat? Actually, he takes most of his meals in his study. He's in there working all hours doing research. What does he research? And history, mostly. Lord Lucian is quite keen on antiquities of all sorts, but he's chiefly interested in things relating to the Old Kingdom. There was a trader in Old Town who said his stuff was from the Old Kingdom. Yes, yes. I believe Lord Lucian heard about that. We bought a piece of it, and we made a wish, and now we're here. Well, that's wonderful. Now, when you meet Lord Lucian, you must show respect at all times. Address him as my lord, speak only when spoken to. Yes, sir. And do not mention Lady Fairfax or Amelia. Don't worry about me, buddy. I don't fucking speak. Here we are. Lord Lucian, the children are here. Yeah, me first. Children! It's come to my attention that you have some sort of magic box. May I see it? It vanished, my lord. We were winding it up and we made a wish and then it started to glow and it disappeared. After you used it? Yes, my lord. The man who sold it to us said it was magic. The box is of no interest to me. What's remarkable is that you were able to use it. What was your wish? Oh. <laughs> well, speak up. What did you wish for? To live in a castle. Like this one. That's cute. <laughs> Perhaps that could be arranged. I'm working to rebuild... Well, I'm working on something wonderful, for which I need individuals with particular talents. Now, don't worry, buddy. I got a particular set of skills. <laughs> Let us find out if you possess them. Would you kindly stand in the circle, please? Um... I promise it won't hurt you. I have no choice, huh? What's that? Nothing to worry about. Okay. It's true. Your blood. You are heroes. Heroes? You mean like in the old stories? I don't, what'd you do, buddy? <laughs> what'd you do? What are you? Wait. There was My lord, something what, what happened? Here. Was... What's that like? Quiet! Hey man, heroes, fuck off. You're not any of the three. One of you is the fourth. What's happening? This isn't what I wanted. Oh, hey man, hang on, hang on, hang on. Nothing must stand in my way. No! 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 Don't! No! Hey man! No. Wait a minute, you're out of ammo. I can't allow you to live either. It's a flintlock. You're out of ammo. I'm sorry. You're out of ammo. Oh, well, goodbye. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, <laughs> well, I'm not dead. Death 
Boy. Always show love for the pupper. Oh, a hero can survive falls out sharing the bones of most people. Okay, well, I survived the fall, but what about the bullet? <laughs> that didn't kill me? Okay, we're stuck loading again. No, we're saving now. Lucian disappeared from Castle Fairfax that night, certain that those who might stand in his way were dead. But some grief is so great, even death may keep its distance. And so the boy survived. Days later, far from the dark alleys of Bowerstone, life slowly returned to his small broken body. The boy awoke to a familiar face watching over a strange bed. He reached out for the comfort of the dog's warm fur, ready to take his first steps in a new life. Ten winters blanketed Albion. Ten summers filled the air with the sounds of insects and laughter. With time, the boy's pain turned to strength. His grief became will. A will to change the world and to avenge the death that still haunted his every dream. Uh, ten years. This dog's old as shit. It's ten years later. Ah, there you are. And your faithful friend, too. Many years ago, I promised I would help you avenge your sister's death. That day has come. Today, you leave the safety of this camp and seek out Lucian. The journey will not be easy. There's a chest near your caravan. I shall meet you by the gates. After I go and get my goodies, like you told me to. Come on, you can move a bit faster, please. And there we are. Sword, crossbow, health potion, dog potion, collar. I want a shovel. Yeah, let's set this to rent so we can make a bit of money and use a dog collar to name our boy. Very nice indeed. And I shall name you. Let's name you this. Will be Orion. Fearless warrior. You look absolutely fabulous. Let's go meet Teresa. Who for someone that's five hundred plus years old is pretty good. Now hey, that was safe, weren't you? Open the gate. Good luck. Take this. Oh. It is a powerful artifact, the kind of which all heroes once carried. It will grant you access to places others cannot go. It will also allow me to talk to you when necessary. Oh, shit. Now, look. Yes, ma'am. But it will take a bit because I'm going to do some exploring. So pretty much the point of your dog is that he goes and finds treasure for you. Which means you don't have to waste a lot of time, you know, trying to find all the buried spots. Which is definitely an improvement from the last game. Also